Hello. Yes, electoral politics or Facebook. That's right. I know I covered this in yesterday's video, but I'd like to add a little bit more. I've been looking at the Royal Mail website, and as you know, Royal Mail do door-to-door -door, uh, leaflet drops, right? You, you pay them and they'll deliver your leaflets for you. Uh, if it's in a general election, even better, they'll deliver your leaflets free, but I'll get back to that in a minute. But according to the Royal Mail on their website, 92% of people will read a leaflet that's put through the letterbox. That is very, very encouraging. And 88% of small businesses said leaflet drops help their business. That also is very, very encouraging. You see, the problem with social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, right? All that does is reinforce your side. It doesn't convince uh, or sway undecided people don't know where not to vote Trump or Hillary in large numbers who to vote for. The same with Brexit, right? Social media, I believe, didn't persuade undecided people or voters, should I say, which way to vote? Shall I vote? Leave. Shall I vote? Remain. Probably 99% already knew which way they were going to vote. It's the same with Trump and Hillary. All social media does is reinforce your side. It's like the Daily Mirror and the Daily Telegraph. They just uh, reinforce one another's side. They don't sway, you know, large numbers of undecided voters. Uh, Trump, Hillary, Brexit, Remain. It doesn't happen. Regarding general elections, this is very encouraging as well. As you know, those that have been involved in politics a long time, like I have, in general elections, the Royal Mail will deliver your leaflets for you free of charge. All you need is £500 deposit to stand in, uh, for, in a parliamentary uh, election and uh, the cost uh, of your leaflets. Now, leaflets are dirt cheap. Now, even though you're not going to win yet, right, we get our act together. I reckon we can sometime down the road, but we can. But anyway, that's another video in itself. Uh, even though if I stood in, say, the forthcoming general election, whenever that is, I'm not going to win, I know that. But... I've had a personal message delivered to every person in that constituency. I can lay forth my views, opinions, uh, what I believe is going to happen if this doesn't change or that doesn't change. And even though it may not uh, prompt people to vote for you, it will still be in their mind what you've said. And later on, when these things start happening and these things start uh, coming a bit closer to home and people start understanding what you've been saying. You can have thousands of supporters overnight, so general elections are a must. We must contest them all the time. There's a screenshot of left at the end of the, uh, this video regarding Nick Griffin. There was an article in the Daily Mail about this right-wing terror threat and all this nonsense. And according Nick Griffin's response to it um, is, you know... Elections are being rigged, views stifle, people attack, demonise. What you'd expect people to do? Well, people aren't turning to violence, Nick. You know they're not. The article's a load of nonsense. What's happening? You've got hope not hate sponsored outfits like Britain First, National Action, hoovering up all the loonies who then commit acts of violence. That's what's happening. And rigged elections, so Brexit was rigged. Your election in 2009 to the European Parliament was rigged. A hundred councillors rigged. A GLA member, a Richard Barnbrook, that election was rigged. I know you said your 204 one was rigged where the ballot boxes were opened and BMP uh, ballot papers were taken out and hidden behind uh, radiators, which the cleaners found the next day or something. MI5 couldn't even hide the ballot papers uh, sufficient enough that the cleaners found them. You know, come on, Nick, get real. I mean, do you really believe that? Because... The other candidates, how come none of them complain the ballot boxes are being opened? Unless they were approached by men in black, the security services, and uh, told, listen, uh, the only ballot papers that will be removed will be MP ones, yours are okay, and they've all agreed, said yeah, and they're all partying out to electoral fraud, which you go to jail for. Do you really believe that? What balls your 204 euro election up was that fiasco at the uh, Crested Hotel. But anyway, that's another video in itself. So... Electoral politics or Facebook? Okay, thank you. Jean Marie Le Pen had to be protected.